What's up everybody, it's your boy Sean P, the leader and general of the illest team known to man, your family's favorite family, the Pure Voice. And today is just a quick service announcement um, about a lesson that I just learned, um, something that I definitely should have known a long, long time ago. But um, as you, you know, as you go along on this, on this, this journey of being a parent, and uh, the more and more and more kids that you have, uh, you know, things kind of like slip between the cracks. Like, you know, we're not as protective of SJ as we were with Xavier or Ariana for that matter. But um, you probably got a notification uh, talk, uh, letting you know that there was a video up of Ari and her cousin Lily um, doing a hide and seek video. It's an awesome video. But um, during the video, Ariana repeated something that she heard on TV, one of the shows that she watched. Um, and um, she, you know, was dared, she was asking Lily if she dared her to take off her pants on camera. And um, that's really wild for a six-year-old to say. So, you know, um, so the first lesson I learned today was um, you have to, any, and I'm like rambling right now, so after they did the video, I didn't look at it. I was just trying to be the cool uncle, and I, you know, I wanted to make my niece smile. So I go, "Hey, I'm just gonna upload it to YouTube." You know, they made this video, and I uploaded it, and I watched it all the way through the first time on YouTube, and it it hurt my heart to hear Ariana say something like that because, you know, this world is crazy, um, with you know all the child molestation cases that have gone on. Um, kids being abducted, all those types of things. So I definitely don't want to put my child's life in danger, um, you know, especially with perverted people who may be watching the channel. Um, so that's why you don't see the video. We will upload it um, once I edit it and um, get it back up and running. So the hide and seek video will come up. Um, sorry, Lily. We uh, tried to get it done tonight, but um, we had to take that part out because it's it's just crazy. Um, so that's the first lesson, you know, always watch everything that your kids do, you know, always, you know, just proofread whatever they write, proofread whatever they record, um, just watch it, you know, just to make sure everything is cool, you know, because you don't want, you know, you don't want to draw unnecessary attention or negative attention to your children that might put them in harm's way. Um, second lesson, um, was... We got to watch what our kids watch. We have to monitor it. And um, Nakia and I do a pretty decent job of, well, Nakia does, because I'm not, I'm not home when Ari's watching TV and things like that for the most part. So, um, but, you know, then again, things slip between the cracks and kids find ways to watch things that they know they shouldn't be watching. So Ari watches this show called Lala lolly rock and she heard you know these girls on lolly rock talking about you know they were going to pull their pants down on camera and you know at first you know when i asked her about it she said she didn't get it from anywhere i asked you know ari where did you get pulling your pants down from and she said i didn't get it from anywhere and so you know let some time go by and then you know ari's a smart kid and i can tell when she's lying so I asked her to tell me the truth. Um, she's grounded, of course, for being crazy. Um, but I said, you know, you want to make it two weeks of being grounded? And then she told me that, you know, where she got the show from. And she, I asked her, why did you lie to me? And she said she didn't want me to not let her watch the show. But, you know, I had to break it down to her. Of course, you know, I, my go-to emotion is anger when I'm scared. Um, so I had to take a really deep breath and just like be transparent with my child and let her know like you you scared me when you did that because you know I know how this world works she doesn't she's only six years old you know to her it's just some innocent thing she saw on TV but to us you know who have knowledge of the world who've seen things who watch the news who maybe even experienced it in life I don't know um, but we know these things so we have to try our best to guard our children from, you know, the crazy things that go on in this world. 
you know, and I had to also explain to her, you know, I don't want to just take things away from you just to be mean or, you know, to just rain down on your parade. I'm trying to help you, you know. You you heard that on TV. There's no reason why you should have heard that and tried to copy it. You know, that's why you don't watch certain things because of your age. So the second lesson that I learned today is um, you got to monitor what your kids watch on TV. Even though it might say, you know, it's made for kids, you know, certain things I just don't want my daughter to watch. Certain things I don't want my daughter to emulate or try to copy. Um, you know, for the next parent, that might be cool. You know, you might be okay with, you know, your, your children watching, you know, um, uh, what's the word that I'm trying to look for? Um... I'm really trying to find that word. Um, it starts with sub. Subliminal. There we go. There we go. Subliminal sexual messages and things like that. Um, you might be cool with that, you know, because, you know, oh, they don't get it. You know, it's harmless or whatever the case is. But when you know that your kids have destiny, you know, assigned to their lives, when you know that they're destined for greatness, if you know you know, how you want your, your family to be portrayed or how you want people to see your family, you know, you have to set borders and guidelines for your children to follow. Now, of course, I know that my children aren't perfect. I am positively sure that as soon as Ariana gets the chance to, she'll try to watch it again. Um, but at the same time, she will always know that mommy and daddy do not approve. And they will always know that standard. No matter how old they get, no matter how much freedom they think they have, they will always know our standards. And that's all that we can do. The Bible tells us to train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. They didn't say that you got to, you know, monitor, you know, that you're going to be there for everything, that you're going to be perfect in every situation. The Bible just tells us to train them. So that means, you know, it's going to be a lesson that's over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so, you know, that they, they know how to be when they get of age. So um, that's just my little thing tonight. Um, the hide and go seek video will probably be up tomorrow. SJ's birthday video will probably be up tomorrow. Um, thank you for everyone who came out. Um, Lily, we love you. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, the Matthews family, we love y'all. Thanks for coming by today. We had such a blast. And everybody, y'all have a good night and a great week. Live, let, love. Peace.